jump into VVT, we can see down here at the bottom under our window under the VVT control, we can see the intake cam position and we see the target position. So the intake cam position here, that's showing at 1.2 degrees and we see the target's at zero. We should find that this is matching the target when we have our desired target set at zero which means that our offset here needs to be adjusted. So this value is responsible for zeroing out our intake cam position. Hopefully it makes sense. So what I'm gonna do here is jump in and change this value down. Let's go to negative 228. And we see that value is now a little bit too low. We want it to be matching at roughly zero. So let's go to negative 227. Oops, wrong, wrong value here, negative 227. It's close. We could probably do negative 227.4. And now we can see it's pretty much spot on to the target commanded at zero. We want this value to be accurate because this feeds into the closed loop routine for the variable cam control. If this is off, then the whole variable cam control is off. So this value here needs to be tweaked. Now the filter level might need to be adjusted a little bit. We do see it's fluctuating around a little bit. We want to filter that out so it's not as jumpy as we're finding there. If I put a value of something like six, maybe seven, maybe even eight here, keep that filter something like six, seven, or eight, that filters down the movement, it's not maybe as jumpy looking at that uh, filtering a little bit more. So the rest of this looks good in terms of our values in here. Let's go test our output real quick. Um, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna use a feed forward option, we're gonna turn this on, and we're gonna set our duty cycle to 50%. This is saying that we're gonna be outputting 50% duty cycle to start our control from, and then the max can either lower or raise it to get to our desired target. So the actual versus the target. This is controlling the variable valve control solenoid, essentially the oil flow through the cam gear and allow it to advance, rotate, or move. So this is gonna be allowing a little bit more fine control in the variable cam control routine. Now we still need to adjust our PID gains and possibly the frequency feedback, that's gonna be how quickly it feeds back, but let's just test and see if this works. If we go to our target position table, I was, um, before I started to film, playing around with some things in here, we wanna go and set this to some kind of a value in our table here. So we're on our zero table, so we're zero, 100, zero means that we're on uh, low cam VTEC off, and initially this was zeroed out when we built our base file. I put a value here of 20 degrees, just to see if we start to output some control to the variable cam control solenoid, if we get a movement in our variable cam. Let's try this real quick. So when I rev it off idle here, we can see it's gonna be targeting 20 degrees. Right here is our cursor at 1,000. Now let's go try this real quick. So if I jump back into my settings here, let's look at what the target's doing, let's look at the actual is doing here. So if I bring up the RPM here a little bit, we do see we're getting some movement, but this is erratic in its control. We likely need to turn down the PID gains. Let me turn that proportional down, which controls the risk. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.